Yo, what's good guys, Coach of Tech here. So today, we're looking at a Chinese case from Ago Dark Flash. This is the DLM-22. Let's get to it. This is their DLM-22. Now this is a micro ATX case. It supports micro ATX MOBOs as well as my, um, mini ITX MOBOs. Now look, this is gonna run you $50. I'm gonna have everything in the description below about the case. You get this on Amazon for, like I said, for around 50 bucks. Also, there in the Amazon images, you guys can see, it gives you actually a really good breakdown on uh, how many fans the case supports and uh, where the hard drives are, essentially, so on and so forth. As you guys can see, I pimped out this case with the Antec fans. Um, just looks absolutely gorgeous with them. Chinese case. Listen, a Chinese case, gotta have some Chinese fans, man. I, <laughs> so it's looking extra, extra crispy. But anyways, um... Let me get to the B-roll, and then towards the end, I'm gonna, you know, within the video, I'm gonna explain to you guys, I'm gonna break everything down about the case. But anyways, let's go. Right, guys so now let's take an in-depth look of the case now quickly when you first get the case you get no fans you get no chinese fans now the fans that i have in there they are the antec prism rgb 120 mil fans now, i did review them i'm gonna throw a card up there as well as i have on my chinese rgb playlist now quickly let's start from the top down all right so now what do we get all right so we get a mic port all right we get a headphone we get headphone mic we got USB 2, USB 2, and USB 3. So two USB 2s, one USB 3. We get a reset switch, which is pretty small. And we got a big power button, which is nice. Next, we get two fan cutouts. Now, the top supports either, you see them You see them Chinese cutouts? None of these Chinese cutouts, guys. <laughs> all right, <laughs> of course you gotta calm down. So it supports either 120s, all right, on both sides, or 140 mil fans as well on both sides. As you can see, there's cutouts already. So these are the cutouts for the 120s. Now, if I had 140 mil fans, this they would go here. So the cutouts are already basically cut out for you up top. Now, on the back, on the back, unfortunately, it's only 120. So you see the cutouts here for 120. You can't put a 140 fan in the rear. Now, let's, now, listen, this is what I'm feeling right here. So you see this little uh, fabric thing? All you gotta do is just pull it. It stick to the case. Look, if they like kind of screwed it on or did something here, it's basically not going anywhere. Make sure it doesn't get stuck. Make sure it doesn't get stuck and like that's gonna be a pain. But anyways, the side panel just basically slides off and you guys could basically just pop it right up and it's just gonna pop it up on the top and just basically remove it and then just settle it down to the hinges and then you are good to go. All right, so what do we got? Well, you could fit right here as well, 120 mil fans. Now you could fit a easily a, um, a 120 mil rad right here on the side. Unfortunately, not a 140. Now, the airflow is the only one thing that I 
you know, that I see an issue might be in this case. I'm, I'm going to show you guys a little later because there's no air coming in basically from the front of the case because as you see, it might be a little restrictive, but there's still a decent amount of airflow because at the end of the day, we do have uh, support for five fans. Now here, my layout, I did, you know, intakes and two exhausts. You could obviously, you know, change them and do however you like it. But anyways, this is very easy to remove. <clears throat> Unscrew this, pop comes out, poop, put it in. And that's it. We got two, U two um, SSDs that you could basically mount there. <clears throat> there are no mounting brackets, you just screw them in. They're very, very easy. I'm gonna show you guys how I did that when I show you the back. All right, you got a big ass prism cooler over here. All right, which as you can see, looks absolutely beautiful. All right, this Mobo is a micro, uh, what is this? A micro ATX motherboard. This case supports micro ATX and micro uh, ITX motherboard. So listen, as you can see, it fits absolutely beautiful. Now for the graphics card, we, this is a Red Devil 590. I mean, it's good. I'm gonna show you guys a bit later. I'm gonna take my uh, 1060, my um, my 1060, and what I wanna do is I'm gonna, because I have the, um, the Strix Edition, which has three fans and it's a foot. So I wanna show you guys how it's gonna look. It's gonna come basically right here, but I'm gonna install a little later. I'm gonna show you basically how it looks because if you're gonna try to install a cooler up front, if you're gonna basically try to get an AIO, it might hinder you might not be able to get it if you have a long enough card. What you might have to do is you might have to mount it up top. But I'm going to show you guys that in a few. But anyways, I mean, look how clean it looks. Like, let's be real. Look at this. The SSD is looking hot. Looks absolutely, absolutely clean. But anyways, let's close this. All right. Let's go in the back. Now, what I want to show you guys is basically on the back, we get... Remember how I told you we get some um, air? Now this right here, you know what this looks like right here? This looks like an NZXT um, H500 case. The H500 case has a very similar, very, very similar design, but you know, you do get some air coming in. Remember when I told you guys you get the air, what I was talking about? You do get some air coming in there, but next what I wanna show you guys is basically the rear. Now the rear, we have these little, uh, screws over here, you just unscrew them too, all right? So we just unscrew them and then basically taking out the side panel is honestly two seconds. Now, of course, you can see the shield right here in the back. This is perfectly fine. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is, you see this little hinge over here, just pull it and that's it. It just pops off two seconds. Nothing too complicated, very easy, very Chinese style, which Kosha likes. Let's get some light in here, now look. This is what I'm talking about. Now, I'll be 100 with you guys. For a small case, the cable management isn't too bad whatsoever. Now, like I said, I did have the prism, so the prism comes with this big ass hub. I have it right over here, I mounted over here. I tried my best to cable manage everything, but listen, it's really, really good. Regardless, you get plenty of space. And of course, if you got them spinning discs, all right, you got them spinning discs, AKA mechanical drives, you could mount them right here. You just pop this out and that's it. And then you just pop it back in, pop it out, you screw them in, one, two, three. Remember the SSDs I was talking about to so screw it in? Right here, you put the SSD, they come with the screws, the case comes with a bunch of screws, you put the SSDs in, bam, bam, you screw them in, you're good to go. You basically cash money after that, man. But look, like I told you guys, the front, the side, them Chinese cases, man, <laughs> $50. Now this is a Corsair, which one we got? I think we got the 750X uh, power supply. Fits really, really easy. Like I said, I had no problems with this case whatsoever. Later in the conclusion, I will break down some stuff that I wish. All right, I'm doing this with one hand that I wish, um, you know, we could have seen in the case, but overall, I gotta admit, it's not too bad whatsoever, man. And like I said, the airflow is probably the only one thing I wish that they had a cutout, maybe like in the front, like if they did some sort of cutout here, you know, with some design, just to get a little more air, just a little to get a little more circulation. But the cutouts here in the back, remember that I showed you right here, the cutouts here in the back, it's not too bad. It's gonna give you that airflow. Like I said, you're not gonna have any issues here too much with the sense of 
with a sense of airflow because it's just you get five fans man like you could fit up to five fans here and you could put 140s up here too so it's like you know with the h500 case it did have that issue where there's only four fans here you can put you know throwing five fans but anyways before i get sidetracked let me put the um the 1060 here the strix edition just so you guys can see basically the length which i was talking about let's go all right guys so the 1060 strix is installed now this is what i was telling you check it out you see how fat this card is basically a foot long 12 inches now look at it you know if you put a 120 in here i don't even think it's gonna fit uh 120 aio because look how cool if i move this wire look at this look how close this is this is like so i'm saying it's gonna most likely go up there now if you're gonna throw an aio throw it up there if your card is basically a you know close to a foot long like a strix card when it has three fans now look and also look at the sag you see you guys see this so you do get a sag. Now, remember when I was talking about airflow? You know, I wish they would just cut out here in the bottom, man, because this is not a blower style card. You know, I just wish that it was um, just a little more cutouts. Just, you know, a little more cutouts for better circulation. But like I said, you know, with five fans, with, with how small the case is, you know, I, I, and, you know, it's Chinese case. So, you know, I could understand, you know, but the little things, like I said, every case, look, every case has little things, but Overall, look, it still fits. Just, you know, because I know people are going to ask me, it fits. All right, it fits. Now, another thing, the back here. Now, these over here, these basically, you could say, you know, the, the back things over here, the protectors, back plates. Now, these basically, <laughs> you can't screw them on. They're basically, they're already like molded in. So what you do is you, when you first get the case, they're like molded in like that. And what I did basically, I just like popped them out because, you know, I was thinking that you could screw them back on, but no. So you're going to be out of luck. You're going to be basically stuck like that. And these are going to go, basically I did this. Since I'm reviewing the case, I just broke them all off just to show you guys, you know, so you guys, <laughs> you guys don't make the same mistake. Just know what, how many, you know, how big, how wide your graphics card is to know how many slots it basically has. In this case, this is a two slot card. So if your card is a two slot card card, you're gonna to wanna to take the top one, the first top, and the first and the last one here in the bottom, and then you could still have these connected in the case. But overall, listen, not too bad, y'all. Not too bad. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, if I did, you know, I'm gonna mention it in conclusion. But like I said, all little little things. But anyways, let's jump to the conclusion, guys. And that's that, y'all. Let's go. All right, so guys, so we back at it. Now listen, building in this case for $50, all right, all aluminum, you get this metal design for $50. I mean, it's on my Amazon switches from 50 to like 55 bucks. You know, a uh, micro ATX case, like I said, it supports both micro ATX, mother micro ATX motherboards as well as mini ITX motherboards. I did, I think I did mention, I did say uh, micro, um, micro ITX motherboard, and what I meant was mini ITX motherboards. But for $50, I mean, look, you really can't go wrong. For everything that it offers for the five fan layout. Now, of course, there is some, you know, minor issues, like I said, with the, uh, with my, in my opinion, I, I wish they had a little more cutouts for airflow, but you get up to five fans, you know, you get all these, it's just like, you get a great design. I mean, there's nothing else for me to say that I wish, you know, I wish they fixed the, you know, the back, the back issue for the graphics card. So I wish they weren't basically already like molded in. Like if you pop them, like I showed you guys, it would just, but besides that, I mean, you get a tempered glass. Besides that, this thing, look, if you're looking for a micro ATX, um, micro ATX, uh, case, you're looking at it right now, man. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg for 50 bucks. I say, listen, most definitely coach is certified. Go out and get it. I mean, what else can I say about it? The thing is beast. I was really shocked when I was building it. It got a good Chinese case like that from Ego. You know, and they make some good fans too. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys already rock with the case. If you're thinking about getting the case, let me know in the comments below. Also, a big shout out to my Discord server. I'm going to have the link below too. Because of you guys, I actually got this case because everybody wanted me to review it. So look guys, let me know what you guys think like I said. But that's that guys. I'm Coach Tech. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Deuces.